friends my name is Shahbaz Ali I am going to explain in this video about the steering axis inclination in my previous video I have explained about the wheel alignment and in this video I am going to explain about the steering axis inclination first of all what is steering axis steering axis it is a line made by the upper ball joint and lower ball joint as you can see in this figure that this is a steering axis it is a line made by the upper ball joint and lower ball joint so this line is called a steering axis now what is steering axis inclination it is very simple because inclination of steering axis called a steering axis inclination but in this figure angle between here is the angle angle between this steering axis and the wheel center line is called a steering axis inclination now steering axis inclination is given below the 8 degree and it is measured in degree in this figure it is a front view not a side view so it is kept below 8 degree not beyond 8 degree now comes, now comes to the advantages of steering axis inclination first advantage is that steering axis inclination causes both front wheel to provide to gain more positive camber as you it is very simple that your vehicle is going on a straight path and there is a turn then after going in a straight path you are going to steer your wheel then when the you when your wheel is steered from the center then this steering axis inclination provide a positive camber second point is that it provides straight line stability straight line stability means your vehicle on a straight path is going very speed so on a speed way it provides a straight line stability that your vehicle will not tilt from the steering position third is it improves steering effort it is very important point about the steering axis inclination that it provides more steering effort okay now it acts caster for providing self centering of a wheel caster it provides caster caster means it provides self centering of a vehicle when you are going on a straight path then after taking turn it provides self centering of a vehicle that you don't have to unsteer the wheel now comes to the scrub radius scrub radius is the horizontal distance in this figure this is a scrub radius scrub radius is a horizontal distance between the steering axis and wheel center line so this this line shows the scrub radius but at the ground level not at the top level or below the ground level so it is a ground level now uh, there are two types of scrub radius that is positive scrub radius and negative scrub radius when it depends upon the steering axis and the wheel center line intersect when this steering axis and the wheel center line intersect at this point then it is called a zero scrub radius but when this steering axis and wheel center line in this figure it is showing a negative scrub radius so this is a steering axis and this is a wheel center line so this line are intersect at this point this point shows the above the road surface this is a road surface these two line intersect above the road surface so this scrub radius is called a negative scrub radius and negative scrub radius is very important to provide in a vehicle that it provides more stability and greater speed of the vehicle now positive scrub radius positive scrub radius means when the steering axis and the wheel center line these two line intersect at this point this point shows this below the road surface this is a road surface and these two line intersect below the road surface so it is called a positive scrub radius in this video i have explained about the steering axis inclination and scrub radius in my coming video i am going to explain about the difference between monotube shock observer and tube shock observer thanks for watching this video if you don't subscribe then subscribe my channel have a nice day thank you